This is Jeff Mucci, um, RCR Wireless News. We're here at the 2012 uh, CES convention with Carla Fitzgerald, who's VP of Marketing for Smith Micro. Hi, Carla, Jeff. thanks for finding the crowds and coming to meet with us today. Happy to do so. Thank you. Um, you've got a new announcement this week with Sprint. Tell us what the product is and what it's doing. Alrighty, this is our mobile network director product. It provides intelligent traffic management uh, that allows mobile operators to uh, intelligently move their data traffic across 3G, 4G, and Wi-Fi networks and our announcement this week is that Sprint announced the commercial deployment of that product uh, in starting in Q1 of this year. Well certainly you know getting mobile devices connected has been the initial focus right people uh, whether it's with their laptops uh, their smartphones and now with their tablets everybody wants to get onto the broadband network and so getting that initial connectivity uh, accomplished is something Smith Micro has been focusing on for many many years as you said but but now that more and more devices are connected and it's becoming mainstream for people to be you know, watching videos, getting their email, doing their work over these devices, the traffic management problem is a real issue for operators. Uh, from, a, from a Sprint perspective, one of their competitive advantages is being able to offer unlimited data. And so in order to offer that effectively, they need a way to intelligently move that traffic based not only on their policies and, and certain congested metro areas, etc., but also based on what users are doing. So for example, if you're working in an office environment and your corporate Wi-Fi is available, their policies can be set up so that your phone and tablet, etc., can be connected to your corporate Wi-Fi. It's not a downloadable app. In fact, it's largely transparent to the subscriber, which is nice. They don't have to worry about settings on their radios, on their phones, etc. It will be rolled out uh, to in-market devices over the air through uh, an operating system update. Well, the initial uh, shipment will be over the air to Android devices, and it will be uh, rolled out uh, into several other types of devices on the Sprint network. Um, they're looking at different smartphones, tablets, uh, pugs, etc. They're going to consider their full portfolio to, to determine where mobile network director makes the most sense. Well, definitely people want to take advantage of the network that performs the best for them. And so although a lot of phones are getting more utilities to allow the user to set uh, their radio uh, settings and network settings, it's still incumbent upon the user to make those decisions. And the large majority of mobile phone and mobile device users are not that technically savvy. And and so if they don't have an easy way to set up their own automated policies, you know, they're either going to be stuck with whatever the default settings are on the device, or they're just going to really not pay that much attention and maybe their data sell bills are going to be a lot higher than they need to be because they're not taking advantage of all of the Wi-Fi that's available. So that's where mobile network director is really important because the user doesn't have to worry about changing their settings. The operators that are using mobile network director will make sure that that user is attached to the best performing optimal network resource available at any given time. Yeah, absolutely. The opportunity is there. Our software supports it. Um, when we give demonstrations of the software, you see a user interface that describes when the software is connecting from Wi-Fi or 4G or 3G. But some operators will choose to, to keep an interface and some will want it to be transparent so that the user really just doesn't have to worry about it. It's really up to the operator on the type of implementation that they want to put on. Carla, thanks for joining us today. Thanks so much.